So today I am going to be dehydrating onions. I am all out of my dehydrated onions and instead of buying them I just bought a really nice big bag of onions and figure I'll get these ones used up first. You can see there's a couple of them are starting to grow but that's not a big deal. Just cut that off. Um, I got my trays ready over here so I can just start piling them on. I do have to get my food processor out. And then I've got the dehydrator sitting over there. I just dry mine in the house. The smell doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, do it outside. Um, so I'm just gonna peel these and yeah, peel them and quarter them. And then I'm going to, I'll bring you back when I'm done that. Okay, so I now have the, that was five pounds of onions there. Oh, <laughs> I now have that five pounds of onions diced and quartered, you can see. And I did set aside another bowl with the skins and the tops and that in it. Don't throw this away. Um, you can make a really nice veg onion stock out of this, or you can add it to your chicken bones when you're boiling them for stock, your beef bones, um, when you're making vegetable stock from scraps and that. Don't throw this stuff away. Add it to those bags. Or even just boil this alone and make an onion stock. It is so good. Okay, so now... I am going to set you up on the tripod so I can do this a little easier, but I'm just going to put them into here to blend them and I'll show you that. Okay, so I actually set you up on the opposite side of me, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, so you just add them, the chopped, they're, they're not really, well yeah they're chopped, onions in here. Don't overload it because you don't want them pureed, you just want them minced. So you just... Pulse them until they're just a little bit smaller. nicely minced onions. Now you can do this just cutting them up, but um, I'm sorry, I'm lazy and I have a food processor so I'm going to use it. Um, I want a spoon. Okay, so now we, oh it's stuck. Anyway, okay. So on the lined, this is a this one here is a for herbs, but also you can make your own with parchment paper if you don't have a whole bunch of jelly sheets like I do. I only have one. I have what came with my machine. Okay, yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. So you just layer the onions. Oh, let me point you down just a little bit more. So maybe I'll bring you in just a little bit closer for this part. That's good. Okay. So you just layer them. You want to make sure air can get through them. But it's okay if they are on top of each other a little bit. Because let's face it, you're not going to be able to get these perfectly single layered. Don't try it. Oh! And there goes my blade. Make sure you're starting off with a clean work surface because you will drop stuff and be prepared to cry lots because oh you're gonna cry okay you can actually fit just a little bit more on this one Beautiful. Okay, so there is one tray done. So now I'm just going to go put this on my dehydrator. And 
keep going. So I will bring you back when I have them all done and the trays filled. Okay. All right, so we're back. I now have all five of my trays filled with some minced onion. Let me pull this out so I can open it. You can see I do have a little bit of skin in there. Not a big deal. But we will let this dry until it's done. Um, I can't remember how long it goes for. I just dry it until it's dry normally the next day. I normally dry them for about 12 hours. Um, I have mine set on, I don't know if you can see that, it's on 140 degrees. Yeah, 140 Fahrenheit or 60 Celsius. Um, I do that that high. Actually, I think that is the vegetable setting. But also, it's raining here today, so it's a little bit more humid and that. So, um, I will bring you back once I actually have them done, which will be tomorrow. So, I will see you then. Bye. So, I actually decided to go and find my, um, my one dehydrating book. I have two of them. They both state to do onions different ways. One says to blanch them and another one says not to blanch them. So I think it's really just a preference if you want to do that or not. I just don't. You've seen that. I don't. I chop it and put it on. Uh, it says here to dry. Uh, temperature drying is 130 to 140 Fahrenheit or 54, Celsius, 54 to 60 Celsius until dry. So it doesn't actually say how long to dry these for. I was actually hoping maybe I could give you exact times or something, but you just dry it until they're done, I guess. So more or less the same way I told you how to do it. Um, sorry about that. I had to cut you off because I had to go let my dogs in. So I let my onions dry until 6.30 this morning, and then I turned them off when I woke up. I let them sit for, well, it's been about three and a half hours because I've been how to get the kids ready for school and that. But now, as you can see, I'll actually, set so into this first, and then, okay. How they flake off just nicely. Now you can see they are not the same color as what you would buy at the grocery store and that's because these are I don't I think they probably maybe they blanch theirs I don't know but you can see they're nice and dry they're flaked up they do smell really good they smell sweet and actually you know what I don't think I've ever eaten a dry one let's try one see what it tastes like Oh, that tastes so good. Mmm. That is yummy. It's sweet, but tangy. Mmm. But when you turn them off, you're going to want to let them sit for at least two hours so they come, they cool down. And that just makes it so when you put them into your container, that they won't mold or rot or rehydrate again from the heat that's coming off it. Because they are warm when you turn them off. Oh, I think I just made a mess. Oh, I got that, I got a bit of onion stuck in my tooth now. That doesn't go very well with my tea flavor in my mouth. Mm. Yum. Anyway. But you can see they come right off pretty easy. Um, this here is the one and only jelly roll I have. And it comes off pretty good. I'm just going to set these all aside for later. I'll wash them all later. You can see they dry down to pretty much nothing. Onions are a lot of water. And then, there we go. Kind of crush 
brush them up a little bit. And as you guys, I do have my hands in everything I do, but my hands are always clean. I wash my hands probably, I don't even know how many times a day. Okay, so let me just put these in my jar and I'll show you. how much that was about seven pounds of onions okay. there seven pounds of onions not bad and let me tell you, these are much better than store-bought ones. I really, if you can't do it, then, you know, I, I don't know. But I at least always say, you know, give something a try once and see how you like it, if you like it or not. I personally, now that I've done this and I have a dehydrator, I'll never go back to buying them store-bought. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. And... Uh, if you did, like the video and subscribe and wait and see what comes next. Bye!